virtual summer camp video. Today we're going to be making wood stick shaving art. So before we get started on anything, you're going to need to go on a little walk and find yourself some sticks. You want them to be kind of small because they have to go in a pencil sharpener, so about the size of a pencil works perfectly. So let's go on an adventure. So this is my buddy Finley. He's very good at finding sticks. So me and him are gonna head to the park and find some good sized sticks to uh, use in our craft. So let's head out. So we found some good sticks. They're in my backpack and we're taking them home so we can do our craft. So once we've gone on our little adventure, we can gather the rest of our supplies. Obviously we already have a stick, and again, it should be about the size of a pencil or a pencil crayon so that it can fit in a pencil sharpener, which means our next material is a pencil sharpener. This is the one I have. You're also gonna need some white glue. You're gonna need paint. So I've got different little paints here. You're gonna need something to draw on. So I have black construction paper. Any color you want works. Also cardstock is fine. Just something to draw on. You're also gonna need something to draw with. So I have a Sharpie marker here. It's green. Again, doesn't matter the color or what kind of drawing material it is. If you have pencil crayons, crayons, whatever you have at home works fine. I'm also gonna need some paper towel just to put down on my desk so that I don't get it all messy. But if you have newspaper or something else to use at home, that works too. So let's get started on the craft. So the first thing you're gonna do is draw whatever it is you wanna decorate. Since it's water theme week, I'm gonna draw a fish. So let's do that first. So I'm gonna draw a nice big circle. Oh. It's okay if you mess up because we're just going to cover it up with wood shavings and paint later. So this is just a nice outline for your art. So here is my drawing of a fish. The next thing you're going to do is we're going to put down our paper towel or our newspaper or whatever it is we're using to make sure our desk, our craft area stays clean. So I'm just going to move this real quick. So now you're going to take your pencil sharpener and you're going to take your stick and you're going to shave off some of the wood chips on your stick. And we're just going to pick a spot on our table on our newspaper, paper towel, twist it onto. And we're just gonna do that for a little bit. If we need to make more later, that's totally okay, but we'll just start with a little bit for now. If it gets stuck, you can just take a pencil and try and get some of it out, or a pen or something, because that didn't work. But like you would a normal pencil if it got stuck, just try and get it out of there. All right, it's empty now. So we're gonna keep doing this for a little bit and then we'll move on. So once we have our wood shavings, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white glue and we're gonna place the glue where we want our shavings to go. So I'm gonna put it on the outline of the fish where I put my pen and just gonna follow my lines. But you can put yours wherever you want to put your wood shavings. You do not have to do it like I do. If you're more artistic than me, maybe your um, design is a little bit more detailed or you just have a better idea of where you wanna put your wood shavings. If 
you're using too much glue, you can always too just spread it out and stop like pushing out glue and just kind of spread it out along your drawing. So once you're done putting your glue, you can take some of your wood shavings and just sprinkle it onto the glue. And you're probably gonna need more than you've already used, so just keep shaving. And it should stick on the glue like that. So I'm gonna keep going. If you want, a little trick that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shave my stick and the pencil sharpener right above my drawing because it should just fall right onto it. So once you have all your um, shavings on it, you can like move it around so it gets stuck by the glue. And then if you want, you can take um, a garbage can and you can just brush off the rest of your wood shavings into the garbage can. Make it nice and clean. So this is what it looks like now with the wood shavings. Now what you can do is, so I've broken off, um, I broke off a piece of my stick and I'm taking the sharpened end and I'm taking my paint. So mine is nice and easy to dip into, but if you wanna like put it onto a plate or something to make it easy to use, we're just gonna paint our art using the pointy end. So you can just dip it in and you can just make little dots if you want or actually paint it. So let's do that. We're just going to decorate our fish with the paint using the pointy end. my wood shaving art. Leave a comment on our Facebook or YouTube page and show us what you guys made. I hope you enjoyed and that you join us for our next videos. <laughs>